Hey gang, um, I love looking at other artists' desks and studios and workspaces. I am a creative person and I cannot be creative in an uncreative space. As you can see, we've got a pretty cool classroom here in the BHS Make Lab. As a designer, I sit at my desk 99% of the time when I'm doing some work, right? And my desk is an extension of my creativity. In my creative space, I'm able to, to get some work done. I kind of touch and tinker and I've got silly putty and I've got goofy glasses and I've got things that creative as I possibly can. I wanna get to know you guys a little bit and to do that, you guys are going to use Photoshop and layer masks and the selection tools to create your ultimate cool workspace. What's on the walls? What's on the desk? What's on your screen? What are you working on? What are you listening to? What's your desk made out of? What type of wall is it? What color is it? What's hanging on the wall? I wanna get to know you through what you would put on your dream creative desk. I'm gonna show you guys a few little tips and tricks real quick, how to use layer masks and your selection tools and delete and move things around. Have fun with this project. I wanna see a minimum of five things changed to this desk. Email me, talk to me, raise your hand if you have any questions. I wanna see what you can come up with. See ya. All right guys, I am going to show you how to create the ultimate desk workspace. Um, we wanna make a, a space that tells me a little bit about you, your interests, what you're into, uh, but also teach you a few things about using Photoshop. Um, in the past, we've used a blank document, but I am going to teach you the same principles and tools by creating something from scratch. So we're gonna open up Photoshop and create a new document that is going to be 11 inches wide by eight inches tall at 300 pixels per inch. That was what we consider high resolution. We're gonna go ahead and click create. Um, if I hit Command R, I'm gonna be able to create my rulers and I'm gonna set myself up for success, okay? I'm gonna drop my guide um, somewhere around the one third mark or the two thirds mark towards the bottom. That's gonna be where the top of my desk is going to be. This area up here is going to be my wall, all right? And the bottom underneath is going to be my desk, all right? What I just clicked here is my rectangular marquee tool. All right, I can make a selection. I can delete parts of the section. I can uh, make edits to that certain selection. Um, first thing I wanna do is I wanna find some imagery. Um, I want in my ultimate creative workspace, I want a brick wall. So I'm gonna go to the Google machine and I'm going to type in brick wall, all right? Um, I'm not gonna just click images and find the best image right there. I'm gonna, again, set myself up for success because it's a high resolution file. I'm gonna go to tools, size, large. So any real picture I see now is going to be somewhat big enough that we can use in our high resolution document. I like some of my options here. There's graffiti walls, there's a white wall, that might be nice. Ooh, black. I kinda like the gray wall, all right? Uh, I like this one. Make sure we don't drag the thumbnail, but I'm gonna take this. We'll notice that this is 1500 pixels by 1000 pixels. I can go ahead and drag and drop this in, all right? Command minus to zoom out, Command T to resize. Um, what happens in Photoshop is what's different than in Adobe Illustrator is I can go ahead and not hold shift while I'm resizing, all right? I'm going to make my wall fit, all right? And I'm gonna press enter to, to commit my selection. All right, if I zoom in, because it's 300 pixels per inch, it's nice high resolution, all right? The next thing I wanna do is I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna download a, a picture of a computer. All right, go back to the Google machine. I'm gonna go now and search for iMac. All right, I'm gonna go to images. Again, not just any picture, I wanna go to tools, size, large. And then I want a nice iMac that's straightforward. Something like this is nice, something like this is nice, all right? This one is nice and large, so I'm gonna drag and drop this in, all right? You'll notice when I drag and drop it in, it has a white space around it, all right? It has a white space around it, and I can use uh, a couple of different tools to get rid of that white space. All right, I'm gonna hit Command colon for now to 
take off my guides. Uh, the first tool I'm gonna show you is the rectangular marquee tool, all right? With the rectangular marquee tool, I can zoom in nice and close, all right? And I can select the area that I want to remove. All right, I can press down to move it a little bit, all right? And then I can go ahead and click delete if I wanna commit uh, to a delete. I know I don't want this background in, so I'm just going to delete it, all right? Um, I can't use a, a rectangular tool to get all these different areas. The next little tool I'm gonna show you is the lasso and the polygonal lasso. I like the lasso tool because if I click, it creates these straight lines. I can hold shift, all right? And I can zoom in it closer if I wanted to, but I can also just make my selections. All right, I'm just gonna click, 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 all right? I don't have to necessarily touch the end point of it. I can double click, all right? And it'll do that. I can press delete, all right? Because my background is white, I can also use my quick selection tool. All right, my quick selection tool is fantastic because I can select quickly what I wanna do. Um, but sometimes it, these two colors are a little bit similar, so that might not be the best tool for the job. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click my marquee and click again to exit out. I'm gonna go ahead and try my magic wand. The magic wand, kind of like in Adobe Illustrator, it selects all like areas, but I can give it some different tolerance. So I'm gonna take 100% 100, 100 tolerance. All right, nope, we're gonna go a little bit lower. Let's see what 20 does. All right, because it's giving me these like information, all right, it's getting pretty close. If I click down here, this is my quick mask mode. Anything that is in green is not selected, and anything is white. I can go ahead and take my brush, all right? Take my brush. Oh, let's change my opacity to 100. There we go. So if, I, if I'm painting the brush white, you'll notice that when I turn off quick mask mode, that's what's selected. So I'm gonna turn quick mask mode back on and I am going to switch to the color black, so dark, and I'm just gonna paint in all the areas that are extra that we don't want to select. I shouldn't have selected all of that. Quick mask mode is a easy way to uh, to zoom in, all right? I can make, see that little area right there? I can make my brush a little bit smaller. This is nice to get into those hard to reach spots to, to double check your work. Attention to detail, we've learned that already, all right? There's one more spot right there that we can get. All right, you'll notice the white is all selected. When I go back out of quick mask mode, I can go ahead and delete, all right? There was one more section right there that I don't want, so I'm gonna go back into quick mask mode, paint that out, all right, that's pretty close. All right, zoom out for you again, and I've selected this and I deleted this. So I've isolated my computer screen, all right? Um, because I don't necessarily want this on the screen, maybe you want Spotify or some a project that you're working on, maybe uh, YouTube or another website. So um, this is a nice clean square. So I'm gonna grab my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to highlight the area that I want to delete and I can delete, all right? Let's find an image that we can put back in here. So we'll go to the Google machine, all right? Um, I'm gonna go to YouTube, all right? Let's go to our We Make VHS channel give myself something to something good to look at, right? We'll go to videos, we'll see what's going on here. Um, I can center my image, and then if I hit Shift Command 3, it's going to take a screenshot of my screen, and then that for me is going to save to my downloads folder, and I can go ahead and drag and drop my screen into here. Screenshots are traditionally low resolution, that's why we don't turn those projects in, but I can go ahead and resize this to fit, I can drag my screenshot underneath, all right? I can drag my screenshot underneath, get my selection tool, click my screenshot, and then resize it to fit the screen. All right, we're gonna go about there. Commit, press enter. Again, you can put any screen you want on the background. I like that one, all right? So uh, let's put something on the wall here. I know we don't have a desk yet. We're gonna get to that in a minute, but um, I'm gonna put uh, some artwork on the wall. Uh, one of my favorite movies is Forrest Gump, Gump, uh, Boris Bump, Forrest Gump, movie, poster. All right, let's see what we got. I'm going to go to images. All right, I like Forrest Gump. Ooh, there's some nice minimalist artwork here. There's a couple of good ones. All right, let's go up to images, tools, size, large. All right. I like this minimalist one. He's got his, uh, they were my magic shoes. All right, this one's a nice high definition one, so I can drag and drop that into my file. All right, you'll notice it's so big, but you don't see it outside the artboard, so I'm gonna get my selection tool and just resize it, all right? 
resize it to make it look nice. All right, there. Press enter. All right. Um, I can add a frame around this. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go uh, black frame. So I'm going to Google black frame. I'm going to go to images, tools, size, large, as always. And I'm going to find a nice black frame. Not something terribly decorative. That's not my style. Uh, the Reba frame from Ikea. That's a good one. All right. Um, we can go ahead and drag and drop that. Let's see how that does. No, that's way too small. We don't want to use that. That would be low resolution if we were to get it bigger. You can tell because, well, actually, 14 by 1400. Let's go ahead and drag and drop and see what happens when we resize it. So, oh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to rename my layers. I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to call this computer. All right, I'm going to take this layer and call this frame. I'm going to take this layer and call this uh, FG for Forrest Gump. And I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to rename it, not screenshot. I'm going to name this uh, YouTube. All right. Um, what's nice about this is I can go ahead and drop and move my layer. So YouTube is underneath the computer still. And I can go to layer, merge. Oh, not yet. I've got to what we call rasterize. So right now this is uneditable. If I wanted to, if I wanted to highlight and delete something from that layer, um, it's a smart object right now. I, I added a, a physical element into my Photoshop document. I can right click on this and I can click rasterize later. Rasterize layer. What rasterization means, um, you're essentially pixelating it. Um, you're, you're turning uh, what is an actual image inside your Photoshop file into pixels. All right, so you'll notice that little icon goes away and then I can go on my computer layer, layer, merge down or hit command E, all right? So when I hit this on and off, my computer screen is now connected, all right? Um, I'm gonna move my computer out of the way because I wanna zoom in on my frame, all right? With my rectangular marquee tool, I'm gonna select the inside of my frame, all right? I'm gonna keep the white matting, I kinda like that, all right? And I'm going to go to my frame layer and I'm going to press delete, so I've got the inside of my frame, all right? And now I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm gonna select the black of my frame. I'm gonna select all the black, all right? I'm gonna select all the black, if I were just to delete this now, all right, it would delete my frame, all right? But I could go ahead and, and use my you know, use my magic wand and select the white. Um, I'm gonna teach you another trick. On something easy like this, if I go to select inverse, it's going to inverse my selection. So what I, I selected the frame originally, I can go ahead and delete the everything else. So now when I inverse the selection, it selects everything else, so I can go ahead and delete everything else, leaving me with my, my, uh, my nice frame. Go back to my marquee tool, deselect zoom in and now because this is a rectangular frame all right it may or may not fit my poster perfectly all right it may or may not fit my poster perfectly so if i hold shift i can make this any shape i want all right i can transform it let's overlap it slightly i'm going to transform that area overlap it slightly i kind of like a little bit of the edge bring it in over there there's a couple of pixels again attention to detail all right, once I like the way it looks, again, frame and Forrest Gump, I can hit Command E or layer merge down. So I'm gonna hit Command E and merge these layers. So now my frame is there, all right? I can double click this layer because it's on the wall, it might cast a shadow. So I can double click my Forrest Gump layer and I can click drop shadow, all right? And if I press my preview on and off, it gives you that little bit of a drop shadow, all right? I'm gonna click OK. I like the way that looks. So I've got a drop shadow here. I've got a computer here. I'm going to hit command colon and turn my guide back on. All right. I can grab the middle one and half of 3200 is 1600. I don't know if it's actually 3200. I'm going to eyeball this. And I'm going to make sure that my alarm doesn't go off on my phone while I'm talking. All right. Um, I'm going to make sure this is in the middle. And now let's work on the desk, right? I can go, I'm going to show you a really awesome trick to make a quick little desk out of some texture. All right, so I'm going to, uh, we can choose any material. I've got, uh, let's analyze my picture. Um, I want to create like, let's create like a black desk. That could be cool. All right, so I'm going to type in uh, black wood. Black wood. Let's see what comes up when I go black wood. Ooh, there's beautiful, beautiful options. If I go to images, all right, I can go to tools, size, large, always. All right, and ooh, I really like the way this looks. This looks all right, nice and big. All right, I'm gonna drag and drop this into my file. Now, if we're looking at the desk from this angle, I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see. 
if I resize this to fill the screen, all right, if I'm looking at this and I'm going to drop it underneath my, oh, where's my computer layer? There we go. I'm going to drop it underneath my computer layer, all right? This kind of looks a little bit weird, right? Because that's not the, how wood grain would look at this perspective. So I always tell you guys not to not to, to squeeze your images. When you're changing the perspective of something, I'm gonna hit Command T, all right? And I'm gonna zoom out so I can grab the bottom. And I'm gonna hold Shift and I'm gonna squeeze this up, all right? That doesn't change the perspective yet, but I'm gonna show you a little trick, all right? I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Drop it right there. We'll see how it looks in a second. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go to Edit, Transform, Perspective. Now, instead of going bigger or smaller, if I grab the side corners, see how those hunker in? I can bring those into the middle, all right? Once I get it like that, I can press enter and then command T again, and I can hold shift and I can change that perspective. So from this angle, my desk is going to look a little bit black, all right? Or a little bit, uh, that's a nice angle, all right? But this is a wood texture, so that wood texture is gonna have a wood edge, all right, that wood edge. So what I like to do is I like to take my square marquee tool and I'm just gonna take this bottom like inch or two, we'll say about an inch or two, all right? And I'm going to copy and paste that. So you see this inch or two is going to be on its own layer, all right? And I'm gonna put it right at the edge. Now check this out, all right, check this out. If I go back to edit, transform perspective, all right, what's once was, what once was the perspective going to the vanishing point in the center, if I grab this out to the corner, I can straighten that back out. If I zoom out, you'll be able to see a little bit better. I can straighten that back out and line up that wood so it looks like there's like a nice, we'll open up a little bit more. All right, let's press enter. Let's click off to see. All right, so you see there's like a, there's an edge, all right? But because there's, we'll call it the light up top, let's make that edge a little bit darker. So I'm going to be on my layer three, all right, that desk edge, and I'm going to go to edit, or excuse me, image adjustments, and I'm going to adjust some things um, like hue, saturation, brightness, contrast. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to drop the darkness of that edge. So you see how that edge changes, all right? Makes it a little bit darker, so it looks like it's like a, a cast shadow, all right? Um, then we can start having some fun. So right now we've got a wall hang, or a picture hanging on the wall, a nice computer screen. We can put a mouse and a keyboard in there. You can put a shelf or a window or anything you want in here. The last thing I'm going to show you real quick, all right, we're just going to build some legs, right? If this is the corner of the desk over here, there's going to be some legs down here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, all right? I'm going to merge my, the front of my desk to the top of my desk, right? And then I'm going to put this layer underneath, and we're going to call this layer legs, all right? The legs of the desk, you can do anything you want. Right, so if I were if I were to say there's some legs right here, I'm gonna just highlight this area, right? Highlight this area. This layer is underneath that, and I'm gonna go get my paint bucket or my brush or something, and I'm gonna you know let's make some like steel black legs, all right? So I'm gonna go get like a nice dark black color, and because I'm on a new layer and I've selected this area, if I fill that bucket with paint, boom, I've got some black legs, all right? I can make them a little bit fatter if I want, all right? So that's one leg, all right? I'm gonna take this layer legs, drag it, and drop it right here. And that's, I've got my second leg, so I'm going to move this all the way across, all right? Nice and even, all right? You can use your guides to figure out, you know, where it is at the corner of the desk, all right? So that's my back two legs, all right? Once I like those, I can merge those together, so those are by themselves, all right? Um, let's add, like, a cross brace or something, all right? Let's add, like, a, a, a cool little cross brace. So if I take this section, you know, get creative with it. All right, I'm going to add like a cross brace right here on my legs layer. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and get my paint bucket again, and I'm going to fill that section. All right. I can copy and paste that to, to keep this bar across. I can rotate it to match the perspective of my table, and I can put like a cross brace down here, something to go to the front legs, because we're not going to see the front two legs, right? But I can, I can, you know, create and use my imagination, as Bob Ross would say. I can take that, beautiful, all right? And now if I duplicate this layer once again, the left bar, all right? If I were to do something like that, I can go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontally, all right? And it's gonna take, well, it's over here somewhere. Whoops, let's find it. Let's move it, it's 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 trapped over here. Well, let's see if we can, oh no, we gotta find it. It's there, we should have moved it first. Let's undo, let's undo, it's gonna be a little bit hard to get this going. All right, let's move. There we go. It's over here now. So I'm going to go to edit, transform, flip horizontally. All right, move this one over here. All right, I kind of like the way this desk is looking. So you're making this desk from complete scratch, right? 
Imagine you're, you're sitting back looking at your computer desk, right? All of these layers now, my layer three copy, command E, all right? Those are the sidebars, command E again, all right? To merge it in, boom, I've got that. I can keep these two separated, but I like the way my desk looks. So I'm gonna take my desk layer, command E again to merge it. So now I've got a nice desk, all right? Um, have fun with this project, you guys. I'm, I'm, we're, we've, we've learned a, a couple new skills, all right? The most important thing about this project is I wanna see your creativity. I wanna see what you guys come up with. Um, keep it simple. Don't bite off more than you can chew, all right? Um, the simple, the image, the bigger the image, the better. Um, you can put little trinkets and toys. Um, you can put a gaming console. You can change monitors, all right? You can put a, a, a cool mouse pad. Um, there's a number of, you know, you can hang some lights or do some other artwork, put a shelf, put a window. All right. The last thing I'm going to show you to make this even more realistic, I'm going to add one layer. I'm going to put it underneath my legs. All right. And I'm going to highlight this section. So this section of wall underneath. All right. We're going to create and mimic like a shadow because the light source would be up top underneath our desk wouldn't be as bright as this background. So I'm going to take that same black. All right. I'm going to take my paint bucket tool and I'm just going to click and fill. Oops. Let's get my paint bucket tool. Let's select it again. I'll edit this out of the final video. All right. I'm going to go ahead and grab my paint bucket tool. I'm going to click here so it's black, but I can change the opacity of that layer to something like, like just a little bit different, just a little bit different. All right. It's not terribly obvious, but when I click it on and off, all right, we're just giving that little bit of a cast shadow. You can add a chair, you can add a bunch of other things. I want to see what you guys come up with. All right. Um, I'll be sharing this project ongoing with you guys in class. Have fun and uh, happy, uh, happy designing.